each ion has more electrons than protons and more protons than neutrons and hence are given over here that this is hydrogen atomic number one and mass number one deuterium atomic number two mass number one and oxygen atomic number eight and mass number of 16 or nucleon number now starting with deuterium so over here if we calculate the protons deuterium has atomic number of one so there is one proton in deuterium and neutron in deuterium is one how two minus one becomes one and electron over here deuterium has one its own electron and another electron gained by it so total of two electrons in deuterium ion so coming towards the choice b what it says here is hydrogen starting with hydrogen uh, this is proton neutron and electron let me draw this in tabulated form just like this okay this is hydrogen it has atomic number of one means it has proton one but there are three hydrogens so three proton in this ion hydronium ion and neutron is hydrogen is there which is protium and protium has no neutron so there are zero neutron over here and electron uh, for this time so just say that there is three electrons coming towards the oxygen oxygen has the atomic number of eight so it has eight protons and nitro that is neutron so it 16 minus 8 becomes 8 and there are total of 8 electrons so you got this one but now there is a positive charge meaning one electron is missing so total of we have 8 9 10 11 protons 8 neutrons and 8 9 10 11 minus this positive charge so we have 10 electrons coming towards the od negative ion again there is oxygen and this is proton neutron and electron and again deuterium is there we have this deuterium oxygen atomic number eight so it has eight protons and 16 minus eight becomes eight neutrons and for the time being it has eight electrons the deuterium it is the isotope of hydrogen having atomic number one means one proton is there neutron it has mass number of two so it has neutron one and electron it has one electron adding these and we will get total nine protons nine neutrons and 10 electrons are here but one electron is gained so a total of 11 electrons because there is a negative charge over hydroxide ion so hydroxide ion oxygen again the same ferrite over here just a neutron will be missing so nitro this is sorry um, writing the proton neutron and electron this is over here is oxygen atomic number eight and mass number 16 so minus 8 becomes 8 neutron and 8 electron over here now for the hydrogen hydrogen atomic number 1 so proton 1 nitrogen 0 because it's protium so sorry neutron 0 because it's protium and electron so over here it has one electron then now the total these are 9 8 and 8 9 and one electron gained that is the negative charge a total of 10 electron now they say that more pro electrons than protons electron more than proton so in the choice word uh, a you can see the electron are more than proton in choice b electron are less than proton so it's not our choice in uh, choice c electron more than proton yes this is in our choice in choice d electron more than proton so yes this is our choice the next thing more protons than neutrons more proton than neutron over here in deuterium they are equal so it's not our choice more protons than here protons are more than neutrons so it is our choice and over here they are, are equal so it's not our choice these two are equal so not our choice and over here more proton than neutron so nine is greater than eight so this is our choice now we got both our choice in choice t so hydroxide ion is the choice in which species are the number of protons neutrons and electrons are different all different so let's see the first one this is the mass number written as subscript and down the this is uh, this is subscript which is nine that is the atomic number atomic number gives our proton the next is we will count for neutron n and e for electron this nine shows okay, nine proton are here 19 so 19 minus 9 becomes 10 our neutron here and electron one electron gained by fluorine so there are a total of 10 electron nine its own electron plus one electron gained so total of 10 electrons coming towards the sodium positive cation again proton and sodium are 11 a neutron is 23 minus 11 becomes 12 neutron in the sodium and electron here 
11 but one electron is lost so minus one becomes 10. In case of phosphorus we got its atomic number 15 total of 15 protons neutrons in it 31 minus 15 becomes 16 15 becomes 16 electron over here so this is neutral atom so it has its own electron 15 coming towards the sulfide ion proton in it are 16 neutron in it are 32 minus 16 becomes 16 and electron 16 its own electron plus two electron gained by it becomes 18 electron now search for all different values in fluoride ion we have neutron electron same so it's not our choice here is in sodium 11 proton 12 neutron 10 are electrons so this is our choice in which all are different in which set do all species contain the same number of electrons uh, you will be given atomic number of these elements but for to calculate all you will get a longer lecture but as i am looking this choice c sodium magnesium aluminium sodium has atomic number of 11 when it loses one electron it got 10 electrons magnesium has a atomic number of 12 when it loses two electrons so it got 10 electron and aluminium has atomic number of 13 when it loses three electron it will got at 10 electron so all these species in the choice c have same number of electrons for example if you want to have b and b fluorine so fluoride now its atomic number is nine but it gained one electron so it has a total of 10 electrons in bromine the atomic number is 35 so it will after getting one electron become 36 and chloride ion has 17 atomic number and again one electron so total electron will become 18 so this is why for all you can do such calculations but choice c is the correct choice helium actually is the second element in the periodic table tritium is the isotope of hydrogen having a mass number of three and atomic number of one what is the same in an atom of helium and an atom of hydrogen that is tritium so the number of electron number of neutron number of protons and the relative atomic mass let's see what is similar this is helium having atomic number of four and it's uh, sorry mass number of four and atomic number two counting protons so two shows it has two protons counting neutrons it shows that it has four minus two becomes two neutrons and electrons so it is neutral so in neutral atom electrons and protons are equal so there are two electrons coming towards the tritium it is h three and one protons over here is one neutrons three minus one becomes two and electron it is again neutral so it has one electron so the similar things that these two have is the number of neutron so choice b is the correct choice number of neutrons is same the most common ion molecule reaction in gas clouds of the universe is as shown. Oh, so this is that equation. This hydrogen gas is combining with hydrogen gaseous ion, that is cation, and producing hydrogen gaseous atom with a molecule of hydrogen gaseous cation having three atoms. Now the question is, what could be the composition of an H3 positive ion? What will be its composition? So in terms of composition, we are asked to have count the protons, count the neutrons, and count the electrons. So let's see. Uh, this is H3 three positive now for protons let me write p for protons as we know that the atomic number of hydrogen is one so over here we got one proton in each hydrogen multiplied three so one multiplied three becomes three proton in this ion towards the neutron so in neutron uh, let me write n for a neutron as we know that hydrogen h that is denoted for protium denotion d for deuterium and t for tritium so in protium there is no neutron so we got zero neutron in this hydrogen three positive now counting for electrons so this e for electrons uh, each hydrogen has one electron so one times three becomes three but we are looking a positive charge this positive charge means if one electron has been loosed so minus one we are getting two so our choice should be proton three so in choice c there are three protons in choice d there are three protons neutrons has to be zero so for neutrons in choice c zero neutron in choice d zero neutron and for electron we have two so over here this is choice b and choice d so the correct choice is choice d three protons zero neutrons and two electrons
In some type of spectroscopy, it is important to know if ions are isoelectronic. Isoelectronic means uh, that contain equal number of electrons. Okay, that's the statement. Now the question is, okay, which ion is not isoelectronic with potassium positive? Potassium has atomic number of 19. You will be provided the data booklet for some things you do not want to remember. 19 shows that it has 19 electron and 19 proton, but we are given potassium positive cation, means it has now 18 electrons. Now we will choose the choice that which one is not isoelectronic, which, which one has not 18 electrons. So starting from calcium positive, calcium 2 positive, calcium has atomic number of 20, but when it loses 2 electron, means it has 18 electron. So it is isoelectronic to potassium. Towards chloride ions, chloride ion has a negative charge and it, atom, its atomic number is 17. By gaining one electron, its electron are now 18 electrons. So it is isoelectronic too. Uh, sulfide ion, sulfur has 16 atomic number and two negative, two electron has been gained by it. So now it has 18 electron. Again, it is isoelectronic. So our choice will be titanium. Titanium three positive. Titanium has atomic number 23. Now, when it has 23, it has lost uh, 3 electron because there is 3 positive charge. So, 23 minus 3 becomes 20. So, it has 20 electrons. So, titanium 3 positive is not isoelectronic to potassium cation. So, this is our choice. In which species are the numbers of protons, neutrons and electrons are different? Okay, we have to find all the electrons, proton, neutron in each of these uh, options and then we will decide. Starting from aluminium, that is choice A. Uh, look at this. The subscript written is the atomic number and the superscript written is its mass number. So this atomic number shows proton. So proton equals 13 in aluminium. Now towards neutron. So getting neutrons, neutron equals A minus Z. Means the mass number and minus Z is the atomic number. So the mass number is 27 minus 13. We will get 14. So this is the number of neutrons. <coughs> now for electrons. If you see that aluminium has no charge over here, so when such a neutral atom is there, number of proton and number of electron are same. So this is why over here 13 are protons. The next one is chloride ion. In chloride ion, the atomic number is uh, 17. So means the proton is equal to 17. Now for neutron, again, A minus Z. So A minus Z, A is 35 and minus 17 is its mass number. So from here, when we complete this subtraction, becomes 18. There are 18 neutrons in the chloride ion. Now for electrons. So for electron, remember, we have 17 electron, uh, which are its own electron by the chloride ion, and there is a one negative charge. So it means that 17 plus one, this one is gained electron, so total become 18. The next one is sulfide ion. Again, sulfur has the proton number of 16, and the neutron, so A minus Z, 32 minus 16 becomes 16. An electron, so electron, there are 16 electron occupied by sulfur of its own and two electron gained by it. So when we add two to it, so we will get 18. Coming towards the potassium, that is potassium ion. It has atomic number proton equals to 18, 19, sorry, it's not 18, it's 19. Now it's neutron will become 39 minus 19. So we will get the answer 20. And for electron, over here, 19 is atomic number. It has 19 electron, but lost one electron. So this is 19 minus 1 becomes 18. So they ask that all are different. So if we see in potassium, you will get there are 19 protons, 20 neutrons, and 18 electrons. So all are different in potassium. So choice. The isotope technetium 99 is radioactive and has been found in loopsters and seaweeds adjacent to nuclear fuel, the processing plants. Which statements are correct about atom of technetium 99? It is the thin more proton, uh, neutrons than protons. It has 43 protons or it has 99 nucleons. First of all, this one that we are given, TC is the symbol. 99 is nucleon number and you will be given the atomic number. So technetium has the atomic number of 43. Now the first statement over here, it has 19 nu nucleons. So yes, it is correct. It has 19, 9 nucleons. The second, it has 43 protons, so its atomic number is 43, means okay, this statement 2 is correct. It has 13 more neutrons than protons. So let's see. In order to find neutron, small n for neutron, equals to A minus Z. A is the mass number that is 99, and Z is the atomic number that is 43. 
equals to 56. Now, the number of proton is 43, number of neutron is 56, and if we find their difference, 56 minus 43, we will get 13. It has 13 more neutrons than proton, so yes, all these three statements are correct. So you have to choose. You will be given choice A, B, C, and D, in which 1 and 2 are correct, 1 is only correct, etc. So you will choose that choice in which 1, 2, and 3 all are correct. Which statement about the phosphide ion that is given and the chloride ion are correct. First, they have the same number of electrons, they have the same number of neutrons, and they have the same number of protons. So let's see. First of all, you will be given the atomic number. Phosphorus has atomic number of 15, and chlorine has atomic number of 17. Now, finding the neutrons, protons, and electrons. We will find these with the help of this table. This is phosphorus. Ion, phosphide ion, 31, its nucleon number, and 15 its atomic number. To find the neutrons, 31 minus 15 becomes 16. 31 minus 15 becomes 16. To find the protons, its atomic number is 15, so there are 15 protons state forward. Now to find electrons, it has 15 of its own electron and 3 extra electron gained by it, so 15 plus 3 becomes 18. This was for phosphide ion. Now for chloride ion, chloride that has nucleon number 35 and atomic number 17. To find neutrons, we will 35 minus 17 becomes 15. Sorry, that's become 18. Proton, so atomic number is 17. It has 17 protons. And now for electrons, 17 are its own electron and one gain by it. So 17 plus 1 becomes 18. Now coming toward the choice. They have same number of electrons. 18 electron in phosphorus or phosphide ion and 18 electron in chloride ion. So choice statement first is correct. Second, they have the same number of neutrons. So neutron in phosphide ion, there are 16 neutrons. And in chloride ion, there are 18 electron. This is not correct. They have the same number of protons. Coming towards the protons, phosphide has 15 protons, while chloride has 17 protons. So this is incorrect. So only one is the correct choice. Technetium-99 isotope is radioactive and has been found in loopsters and seaweeds near to the nuclear fuel reprocessing plants. Now, it is the same question that we have solved earlier, but over here there are some differences and the angle of the question is a little bit different. Which statement about an atom of technetium are correct? First, it has 13 fewer protons than neutrons. It forms technetium-2 positive, which has 45 electrons, and it has 56 nucleons. Now, you will be given its atomic number. This is technetium. Nucleon number is 99 and its atomic number is 43. Coming towards it, it has 13 fewer protons than neutron. First of all, we have to find the neutrons. Neutrons is equal to atomic mass number minus atomic number. So we are getting 99 minus 43. That becomes 56. Proton, its atomic number shows that there are 43 protons. And it has now, they are asking about the electrons. So if it is neutral, it has 43 electrons. But in case of two positive, means that two electron has been lost. So you will get 41 electrons. Now matching the statements. It has 13 fewer protons than neutrons. So over here, number of protons 43 and number of neutron is 56. If we see the difference here, that is, there are 13 more neutrons compared to protons. So it has 13 fewer protons than neutron. Statement first is correct. It has tectinium 2 positive, which has 45 electrons. So yes, it has 43 electron, but when it loses 2 electron, the electron becomes 41. So this is incorrect option. It has 56 nucleons. No, nucleons are total of 99. So they are not 56. 56 are neutron in it, not nucleon. So it is incorrect. So the correct choice is 1. In 2011, an international group of scientists agreed to add two new elements to the periodic table. Both elements have been made artificially and were called ununquidium and ununhexium. These are their proton numbers, nucleon number given. The statement they are asking, which statement about these elements are correct? First one, one atom of ununhexium has one more neutron than one atom of ununquidium. 
So let's see neutron to count neutrons in both these. We have two. This is nucleon number denoted by A. This is proton number denoted by Z. So in order to find a neutron, this is for neutron, A minus Z will give us the number of neutrons. So in an unquadrium, 289 minus 114 becomes 175 neutrons. While in an unhexium, 292 minus 116 becomes 176. So one atom of an unhexium has one more neutron than one atom of an unquadrium. So over here, in an unquadrium, there are 175 neutrons. In an unhexium, there are 176. So hexium has one more neutron. Statement first is correct. One an unquadrium, two negative ion, has the same number of electron is one atom of an unhexium. So quadrium gained two electrons. By gaining two electron, it has 114, its own electron, plus two electron gained. So 116 electron will become the total. So 116 electron are in an unhexium. And now by gaining two electron, an unquadrium has 116 electrons. So this choice statement two is correct. One an unhexium ion has same number of electron as one an unquadrium ion. Look at this. An unquadrium. When it gains one electron, the total electron in it will become 115. 114, its own electron, and an extra 114, its own, and an extra gain, so become 115. While in an unhexium plus an unhexium plus means it lost one electron. So 1116 minus 1 becomes 1115. So statement 3 is correct too. So all these statements are correct. X is a particle with 18 electrons and 20 neutrons. What could be the symbol of X? So we are given three symbols. This X symbol is a superscript. We will write over here its atom mass number and is a subscript. We will write its atomic number. Now it has 18 electrons and it has no charge. Means X has its atomic number of 18. So we will write it over here. Now the next it has 20 neutrons but when we write the a so a is sum of protons plus neutrons so it has 20 neutrons and now from where will the proton come we know its atomic number is 18 so there are 18 protons so 18 plus 20 becomes 38 so 38 and 18 it is its correct symbol 38 and 18 it is argon one is correct now coming towards the second that is calcium with a two positive charge 40 and 20 when it loses two electrons it has 18 electrons in calcium ion again 40 is sum of protons plus neutrons then 40 minus 20 neutrons it will get 20 protons and the total 40 is correct here so it can be represented like this too coming towards the potassium ion that is positive 39 and 19. Now it says that it has 18 electrons, but over here in potassium, 19 are protons, one electron lost by it, so there are 18 electrons. Next, it has 20 neutrons, so 39 minus 20 becomes 19. So we can represent this particle by potassium ion also. So 1, 2, 3. All the given statements are correct. The hydrogen 3 positive ion was first characterized by J.J. Thompson over a century ago. Lithium 6 is a rare isotope of lithium which forms lithium positive ion. Which statements are correct? Both ions contain the same number of protons. So let's see for protons. This is H3 positive and lithium positive. Its mass nucleon number is 6 and H3 has nucleon number of 1. Both ions contain the same number of protons. Over here, the atomic number of hydrogen is 1, and there are 3 hydrogen, so a total of 3 protons are here. While lithium has atomic number of 3, so 3 protons are here. Me both ions same number of protons, so this is correct. Both ions contain the same number of electrons. Hydrogen has atomic number of 1, and it has 1 electron. There are 3 hydrogen, a total of 3 electron, minus 1 positive. So means it has two electrons. Right over here, lithium atomic number is three. It has three electrons. 
but it lost one so there are two electrons this statement 2 is correct both ion contains the same number of neutrons no hydrogen has a mass number of 1 and it is protium and protium has no neutrons it has zero neutrons by a lithium 6 minus 3 becomes 3 neutrons suppose this n is for neutron so statement third is incorrect so your choice will be 1 and 2 both are correct the phosphide ion and the sulfide ion have the same number of which subatomic particle neutrons electrons or protons so let's see find the electrons and protons uh, e for electrons this n for neutrons and p for protons with the help of this table this is phosphorus 31 and 15 and 3 minus total electron phosphorus has 15 electron from its own and 3 gained by it a total of 18 electrons in it neutrons 31 minus 15 31 minus 15 that is mass number minus atomic number so we are getting 16 protons 15 state forward its atomic number coming towards the sulfide ion sulfide 2 negative 32 and 16 electron in it 16 its own electron in 2 gained by it so total of 18 electrons neutrons 32 minus 16 becomes 16 protons here it has 16 atomic number so there are total 16 protons now neutrons are same let's see for neutrons 16 16 yes neutrons are same electrons 18 electron 18 electron they are same protons phosphorus has 15 and sulfur has 16 protons are not same so one and two are correct only one and two only are correct that is choice b